It's a quick demonstration of a Solar Ready VDX demo equipment. Um, what we've got here is the VDX25 server, power inverter, and then power bank. We've also got a Draytech router which uh, USB dongles plugged in to get us on the internet through 3G. And console, that we act as a teacher's console, management console, so we can basically look to see what everyone's doing. Plug one machine in. You have an idea how long a user would have to wait for their system in the morning. They turn on, they get their um, computer, they click login. Now the speed of it logging in is actually slower here than it would be normally because what it's trying to do is access the internet through this dongle here so it takes a little bit longer but that's roughly how long. There's sounds, there's video streaming, there's uh, microphone input, headphones etc. So any users that's got it can hear and see things. We can run program on that one we could run, say, an animation on this one. Run a different animation on this one. So, from this box, we can normally plug about 25 users. We've tested up to 40 users, but 25 is the recommended number. And just to show you there's no tricks, we powered the system up from the internal solar panel. It's also sun's almost gone now. It's not great. We're using these indoor lights. And the reason it works is a file server is a 100 watt um, solar panel. It's right below that light and there's a bit of light from earlier so it's been charging up. After the sun goes down it generally lasts about four hours um, from just the server. You put it into the power bank that normally lasts about three to four days. You tell people 25 hours but Normally it lasts about 3-4 days. And to show you there's no wires plugged in, no nothing. Go around the back, solar panel, cable coming out, running into the power bank, and then everything else plugged in. So we've got a laser printer, we've got a 25 I think it is inch monitor, normal monitor, network monitors, running there. No wires going into it whatsoever. Um, just to show you actually printing something. So you can see there's power going to the printer. I run Microsoft Word. Just type some gibbly goop. And press print. So there's power going to the printer, to all the monitors. The base technology is running on the end computing L300 here. And the printer wakes up. So the printer is using the highest quantity of wattage. The running through it, the file server is running 22 watts. The network monitors generally take about 11 watts in running. This monitor takes about 65 watts, and then the laser takes about 100 and something. It varies, about 108 to 140. And that's kind of it. So we can run it off one of these devices. I'll just make these go quiet. they can drive you mad. But that's it, one file server running off system. Um, we use in our office here, which have come in to a quick demo, we have these full size solar panels, one there, one over in that window. Uh, we take the power in through the Cat5 cable, drops down there, and then um, basically goes into our cabinet. And from our cabinet, we then deliver any power that we require um, through our Cat5 cable. Not easy to do with one hand, but if I show you, so coming out of the Cat5 socket down there, power out, just hook this light up to show you. I have to put the camera down, I'm afraid to copy it. So just to show you plugging in through our Cat5 cable. So, just to show you that we do deliver power over Ethernet, we plug this lighting circuit in to the system. And we normally power our computers through the Cat5s, 
um, from the solar panels, which in our case we keep in these desks. But um, low energy lighting, we run other low energy devices, the printers, the other things that are all chosen to be low energy, and then run them off of those internal solar panels. Just like we're doing on a smaller scale here, but here we've only got one server and one, two, three, four monitors and a printer. And from this you could run 25 monitors quite easily. Um, very, very low voltage. And that's it. Just a quick demonstration. Another quick check-in. It's been about 20 minutes after I remember to turn this on, which is 20 minutes before that. But everything's still running. Again, no mains electricity running to it at all. So everything's still running independent. Lovely quiet system. No moving parts. Um, there's one fan in on the power side of things just in case it needs it. But hopefully it doesn't come on. Still runs away. Easy thing to do with one hand. So system still running. Going via the internet there. Everything still works. So the light outside is really fading now. I'll wait until it actually gets dark so you can see this running off internal lights. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So it's happy. It's running. Another quick check-in. It's been running for a slightly over an hour now. So everything just the same. It's uh, roughly speaking an hour. Everything still works. If I run Tom and Jerry on that one, make it full screen. We'll do video on that one. Something on that one. Yep, it still works. Outside's gone dark now, so it's all running off reserves. So that's it. Just to prove, again, nothing plugged into electricity. No mains backup or anything like that. So it's just all running off stored energy in the, the power bank. The light down there is still running in the Cat 5 in our office. All still up. That's it.